being a professional, you gotta be ready when it be your name's called. So I think I did a good job being ready. Obviously, this wasn't your first go around being on the floor, but what what are there some feelings of anxiousness or anxiety or nervousness when you got out there for the first time? Um, I was like I said, I was just excited that it was first game. I, I haven't been in the league for a year. Played in China last year, first game back, so I was definitely very excited. But I mean, I, I don't think there was any anxiety or anything. I was pretty prepared. I put in the work and prepared myself for that moment. So, so I keep going. You know, what, where did you get hit hit by AB? I got hit in my job. Yeah, um, I think it was in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it was on a post that we made a spin move and then uh, hit me with his left, uh, his right elbow to the right side of my job. Did that daze you some? Were you a little bit dazed, or how did you feel after that? Uh, yeah, for a quick second, I was kind of out of it. I had to lay on the floor for a little bit just to gather myself. And when I stood up, I was fine. What have you noticed about the approach that Jason and Jalen bring to the table every day? You know, since the since the minute you got here, uh, what what has stood um, out to you? Those, those are, both of those guys are um, great leaders. Um, they set the tone with the way they work with their work, the way they come in every day, ready to um, to show us show us how to go about the season and um, try to lead us back to where they were last year in that championship. So just taking it one day at a time. They're doing a great job of leading. Us. You've obviously watched them on TV, but did, did anything surprise you when you actually got on the court with them, like in person, and started working out with them? No, nothing surprised me. I know, I've been watching you guys for a while. Yeah. They keep taking the game to different tiers year after year, and um, yesterday was just um, the start. The start of what's the show throughout the season. So, so um, keep trying the best way to screen those guys and get them open looks. How? Yeah. You're talking about front court by committee. Yeah, you guys are out there. Sometimes, some nights your numbers are gonna get called early. Some nights it might not get called yeah. at all. What, what what's it like going in there knowing that tonight might be a 25, 30 minute night, or tonight might be a no no minute night? I just gotta have the same preparation. Whether I'm playing, whether I'm not playing, just go out there, do my pregame warm up, and um, yeah, just take everything in like like I would every other game. So just yeah, just always being ready. No, if there's someone you're talking to. On a regular basis, all the teams with Al, it's helping you and kind of guiding uh, you through all this. Yeah, talking to all the guys. Al's been great. He's been in the league for 15 years. He's seen a lot. So um, every time, see, anytime I'm out there and he sees something that maybe I could have done better, pull me to the side, give me some pointers. If I'm doing something great, he'll let me know just to keep it up. So it's, it's great having a bet like that. No, if he was a big guy, playing with this kind of pace on the team, what's it take to prepare for that? And what kind of stands out about the pace this team plays with? Um, I love the pace um, this team plays with. Um, for me personally, as a basketball player, I like being within a system that gets up and down because I like running the floor and, and getting out. Um, had to show flashes of that yesterday, and um, just running out, setting some early screens for these guys to get downhill would be great for our offense early on. You had that play in the second quarter where you kind of like slammed your kind of body up in the drill and beat underneath the rim and clear out things like that. Are there like kind of like things that the team like did it in the preseason that you can do that you think you're going to kind of add to your game as soon as it goes on? For sure, as a basketball player, there's obviously, I'm always going to feel like I, I can do a lot, but um, there's a lot of players that, that have roles on this team, so I don't really need to do too much. I just need to play a simple role, um, like I can get Jalen and, uh, and Jason open, get other guys when I'm on the floor, Marcus, and get them downhill, creating opportunities, scoring opportunities for them. And then later on in the season, maybe that can open up some opportunities for me on the road, maybe. If I get to the point where I'm popping, different things like that. So just gotta stay the course. How, how did falling out of the NBA for a year change you as a player, as a person that kind of helped you now take advantage of this opportunity? Um, it's um, it definitely. I mean, can you repeat that question again? Uh, how did dropping out of the NBA for a year um, just kind of change you as a player and a person to help prepare you for this opportunity now? Uh, it definitely motivated me. Um, it made me. Um, being hungrier, I feel like I got a pretty good work ethic, but being out of there, I was just wondering why and questioning certain things, but it just made me more motivated and made me work a lot harder and uh, ended up getting this opportunity here and just trying to make the most of it. Were there things about yourself you kind of learned during that year to, to help kind of... Um, yeah, I definitely learned that um, I don't have no quit in me and I'm, I'm just going to keep going regardless of the situation until the wheels fall off. So no matter what's going at me, um, when adversity strikes, I'm just going to keep going. What's that jump like going from China to running NBA on opening night? Uh, China is China's different. I mean, they don't have no jaw and beats out there, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's different. But um, it just felt great being back out there competing against NBA level um, talent.
kind of you got a small ovation at one point. If you ever gotten something like that coming off the board, you just kind of feel the appreciation of the crowd. Yeah, I, um, I, I loved it, um, especially being a hometown kid. Definitely felt the energy in there. Um, it was great. And um, I mean, I've probably felt that a couple other places in my career, maybe in Portland when I went back after, when I was with the Knicks, when I went back to Portland, I felt uh, the crowd showed some love. So, but the love is nothing like being in Boston. Though. Thank you, Noah. Thanks, Thanks man. Noah. Thanks, Noah.